I'm Dr. Judy, and this is, well, in my opinion. Today, we're asking the question, what's one truth about you that your partner needs to know? Mm, I'm a recreational drug user. <laughs> what, like pot? Uh, no, just recreational drug user, you know? Because I don't like, you know, I, I think I'd be straight up front if I'm out there doing a line, I get caught, you know? Oh, There's yeah, nothing, yeah, nothing yeah. worse than, yeah, 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 yeah. or if I'm coming home, I just uh -huh. took some acid. I'm saying, like, I like to enjoy myself, and if I, you know. If your partner's not cool with it. You know, but it's just, it's just a time where, you know, you don't want to deal with them questions about, like, you know, when are you going to quit? Because right. it's. I'm not, I'm not an addict or anything uh -huh. like that. I like to party. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I have had partners before be like, I'm not really into smoking or the smell and stuff mm. like that. And to be honest with you, I what like I'm not with them. Like I I'm not exactly. necessarily trying to be with someone who isn't on the same level. The, not the same well, level. It have like, to be a level, you know. It has to be the no one's level. If they're well, cool it's with annoying. It. It's like you want to smoke a blunt in your apartment and they don't like the smell of it. And it's like you want to hang out with them, but also you don't want them to like be annoyed or like feel uncomfortable because it's like, you know, I at always that, at that point in time you should not care. Right, exactly. So leave. Um, <laughs> you know, I think I would also probably tell them that I'm like super OCD. Like I definitely really like to have things my own way and like you know, as soon as I make a mess, I usually clean it up. As I'm like cooking, I'm usually cleaning it up. Like I just like to have everything orderly. I probably reorganize my closet like multiple times a month. Yeah, I think I'd just be upfront and be like, that's something about myself that most people probably aren't, you know, Maybe. very similar to, yeah. or it might turn them off a little bit that I'm like constantly trying to keep the vibe right. Some people are just like, okay, like chill the fuck down. Like it's fine if that Rice Krispie wrapper is on the floor. Whereas I literally will walk up and throw it away. I have friends who recognize it in me and they'll like let me do my own thing because they know if I don't do it, like if we're hanging out or I'm setting something up, I'm cooking, whatever, I will like not have a panic attack or freak out. Like I'm so bottled up and like I won't emotionally tell you what I'm thinking, but inside I'll literally be like. <laughs> <laughs> I, had this one, I had this one relationship in Wisconsin. It started with, you know, everything was cool because that's how it always starts. They're cool with you uh, no matter what. I, right, that's know, how it always it's, starts. It is. And then mm -hmm. we go going like, oh, yeah, I see you, see, you, see, you, see, you smoke some weed. Uh -huh. Yeah, uh, you know, all day. It's the, oh, she had a problem with you smoking weed. Yeah, but I'm a respectable guy, mm -hmm. you know. I go outside, you know, and, and, yeah, and do my thing, mm -hmm. you know. And then it just became more and more of an issue. And I said, why is this an issue? I smoked when you when you met me in the first time, mm -hmm. but I thought you were going to get better. And she never smoked? No. Mm -hmm. She smoked cigarettes, but she would never smoke marijuana. Mm -hmm. But I, I, you know, with me, the marijuana is, is nothing wrong with it. You mm -hmm. know, it's perfectly fine. Yeah. And and I just kind of, you know, this. and I'm, I'm like, I'm like, this is always gonna happen. I don't know yeah. what you're hoping for. Like, I'm yeah. not just gonna stop. One <laughs> yeah, day. just one day I'm gonna be like, hey, this is the day that. Mary Jane will not be part of my life. Right. It, it just doesn't happen. She's that your way. first girlfriend. Exactly. My only one. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> the one that never turns her back on you. She's always there when you're down. Turns out that not everyone is speaking the truth. One in five people say that they are keeping a major secret from their spouse. Just one of many reasons that it's important to communicate directly. I wish I would have known about your <laughs> late night eating habits. Yeah. That because I kind of picked up on it. There were warning I, signs. There were warning signs, but I didn't know how like crazy it was. You, you can, one of the things that tracked me about this girl, we go out to like, Wendy's I want and I, and she, no, you're in my car. And I, I'll never forget this. I'm like, I, I ordered my order like a fucking pro, right? Number two, extra mayo, light lettuce, uh, Dr. Pepper, light ice. And uh, also I want to do the dollar add on for five nuggets. I look over at Nicole and you just had like a fucking like Steve Martin ordering coffee in LA story. Like I'll take a half cap, double decap with the double whip. Like <laughs> you literally were like, I'll take a double stack, uh, add, the, add the triple, I'd do this to carry the one, yeah. fries on top. Like you had a whole fucking Wendy's order that you just fucking I can, knew. I can throw down. And then I was like, this I used fucking to be hot to. chick like yeah. eats Wendy's? Like, oh, okay. I wish that I knew that sometimes my wife just gets a little jumbled. So what she wants to say, she doesn't say. So she might be like, you know, hey, could you hand me that paper towel? And then you'll hand her the paper towel. She's like, I'm sorry, I meant the fork. And you're like, you know, you just said, yeah, I, I don't like, she'll just tell me to do something that you didn't, you don't say what you're thinking. It doesn't compute always, yeah. yeah. I've never met someone in my entire life that has a harder time closing cabinets and drawers. Every time I walk into a room, it's as if Paranormal Activity 3 is being filmed and everything is open. Everything is open. And it's, by the way, it's just the easiest thing to do. But since you are so good at it, you can do it. <laughs> 
Like, you obviously care about it's that just, so much more. It's just insane to me. Oh, shut up. You leave your clothes on the floor also, every hold on. day. Little Miss Flossers. I don't know if the women out there love those little cut, 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 those little flosser yeah. things. She loves them too. She also loves them on the floor. So no. that's fun. So if you ever come to our house, the flosser's on the floor, it's from this chick, not from this guy. But you have great teeth, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> Everybody keeps some secrets for themselves and that's okay. But the truth about you that your partner needs to know is whatever you think is the most important thing about you. You can't hide the most important thing about you from somebody you're gonna have an intimate relationship with. So when people hide the truth about what they truly want in life, whether or not they want a marriage or not, whether or not they want children or not, what they wanna do in terms of having a job or maybe taking a step back and being a stay at home, those are most of the common things that come up that can wreck a relationship later if that wasn't discussed in the beginning. I'm Dr. Judy, and this has been, well, in my opinion. Like and subscribe below. This episode is brought to you by Giddy, the source of sexual health and wellness news and information. If you have any sexual health or wellness questions, go to getmegiddy.com.